the big short, Michael Burry. He's back with a billion dollar put option bet that the stock market will go down. What is his state of mind? Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. He's famous either way. We're here to help you with that. I'm Bill. This is Toby. Hello. We are Unhinged Crypto. On Friday, we will be having our crypto altcoin overtime, also known as crypto happy hour. Friday, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. It makes me very happy, that's why. Tune in for <laughs> that to see if your altcoin will get chosen for a reading. Yeah, with a drink. That's right. Happy hour. And you have to, you have have to, to tune in with a drink. We all drink. For the most unusual crypto podcast out there. Is it? Definitely. Is it? <laughs> and we are coming out with premium products, Patreon, Discord, and NFTs by a famous artist. That's not me. So you know who that is. So coming soon. But first, Michael Burry, the stock market bet. His state of mind, right or wrong. Toby. Okay, let's pull three cards. We're starting with past. King of Pentacles, stable money. Okay. Yeah. So he's been a money maker in the past. Yeah. Um, so the, the interesting flavor to this too is yeah. that it's very stable. I mean, we had the just had the night of coins come up in a different reading about the fed right right and so this would be the penultimate of, of the energy of the earth the earth energy it has reached its maximum and because earth energy is a lot more stable than you know other, others right so um it's a little more conservative right okay so uh There's also an emphasis too on taking care of other people, which is interesting. Just mentioning, but okay. So now, present, we have page of wands. Pages are typically messages, wands, fire, right? So something has happened. We're talking about his state of mind. Talking to you, he's up on the screen. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, where he got this new idea, this new thing, right? That, that's a big movement thing because we're talking about fire, right? And it's like. Uh, very inspirational and so that might be you know what you're talking about is um he's he something he got a message somewhere that came to him even if it was in his own mind although not likely <clears throat> so sure. i would say he has a piece of information that's critical is the reason why he's doing this obviously right so let's see what the future says oh. the future is the harvest card so there's money coming. So whatever he says, whatever he's going to do, it looks like he'll um, make some money off it. So we might be smart to listen to what he says. I don't know. I don't, I don't believe in, you know, I, I, that's not how I invest, but yeah, you know, put. Oh, this is really interesting because he's been conservative. He hasn't done any, he's made bets and been wrong, but he hasn't done like the big short part two. Yeah. Okay. It, it, now, this is announced. the big short part two. Well, well okay. his new bet, what you said. Yeah. Right. If that bet, of course, if it's still on, it was reported as of the 30th. But if he's got a piece of information, that center card, mm -hmm. like if he thinks he knows something that the rest of us don't know, which is what happened in the big short, which is what happened in the big short. <laughs> right. Well said. And then, of course, you know, the harvest, mm -hmm. you know. Well, he's a numbers guy from what I know of him. I've, I've seen an interview and, of course, loved the movie. I mean, it was so true. It was really interesting but um yeah so he has a piece of analytics he has a piece of information that's making him want to move so interesting i would call this the big short part de. <laughs> well folks i can't improve on that so the big short part de. De. premium content <laughs>